Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here, and welcome back to Best of the Month, where a few of us are going to tell you about some great new games we discovered, in this case, in November, and why we liked those games so much. So I'm kicking it off with my pick, and this is a game called Robin of Loxley. This is from Uva Rosenberg, coming out from Rio Grande Games, reprinting by uh, Rio Grande Games. And this one is a two-player only game in which the two players are going to be collecting tiles, collecting goods they're stealing, basically, from uh, Nottingham. Uh, collecting those and then using them to advance along a track on the outside of the board. This track is modular, so each step, each requirement will be randomly placed at the beginning of the game. And they require all sorts of things for you to have unique things, for you to uh, be in a positional situation that is advantageous for you, really neat stuff. You're trying to go around the lap twice, or if you can go around uh, and lap your opponent's piece, you also win before the game is completely over. It makes me think of games like uh, The Gates of Luoyang from the same designer, but this one just feels more visceral. There's fewer rules for one thing, and it feels more interesting, a little more abstract maybe, but more engaging for me. The gameplay is really robust and interesting. The game's very pretty, and I really had a great time with it. So I recommend that if you're looking for a thinky game for two players, you want something pretty, and you want something that's going to give you a lot of replayability, this is a good one for that. Robin of Loxley. Wow, this was an easy pick for me. Die Crew, or The Crew. This is coming out, actually, it's, it's only out in German right now. It's coming out in the first quarter, hopefully, of 2020 in English, but you don't need English to play it. It's a trick-taking game. It's a cooperative trick-taking game, and I think I can say now that it's in my top 10 cooperative games. It's my number one trick-taking game ever. It is already, well, I mean, it's the only game of 2020 I've played. It's already in the lead, number one game of 2020. It is fantastic. Uh, you're playing through missions, trying to make people take different tricks. I love this quite a bit. Easy choice for me, that crew. So my best game of the month is actually an expansion, Ticket to Ride Japan and Italy. Now, the Italy side is okay, it's good fun, uh, it's nice because I've been across Italy on a train, so that's kind of fun, but the Japan side that adds bullet trains is just a bit different. Not only does it have some sort of side areas of Tokyo itself that still link with the main board uh, for like the destination tickets, which is interesting, the bullet trains that go across that anyone can use, they're sort of a tracker, so you've got to stay ahead on that as well, otherwise you might lose points it's very good fun and uh, one of my sort of, I'd say at the moment, one of my favorite Ticket to Ride expansions. Anyway, that's the Japan and Italy boards for Ticket to Ride. And I'm Oliver East, signing out. Hello, I'm Jason Peacock and the best game I play this month is this little guy right here, Blitzkrieg, two player only game, plays in 20 minutes. It's a back and forth tug of war style game in the vein of something like Watergate. Plays in 20 minutes and I just love it. See you again next month. Thanks for watching. What's up everyone? Melissa McCack here and my best of the month is Pandemic Fall of Rome. This is one of my favorites so far in the Pandemic line. You've got barbarians running around the map. They're trying to create the collapse of Rome and you're trying to stop that from happening. It's really cool. You can forge alliances with the barbarians. You can just completely eradicate them. I don't think it's called eradicate. That's regular Pandemic. I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, it is so much fun. I think that this is the pandemic game that brings out the theme the most out of all of the pandemics so far. So I've been having a blast. My group's been having a blast. And I play this game several times this month, which is a lot for me just because I've been a little bit burnt out on the pandemic games a little bit because we played it so much before. It's what got us into the hobby. But this has been a lot of fun for us. Anyway, that's it for this month. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey friends, Chubby Meeple. I'm here to give you my pick for best of the month for November of 2019, the best new to me game that I played anyway. That game is going to be Marvel Champions from Fantasy Flight Games. This is the um, their next LCG that they've put out. Uh, it's a cooperative card game for one to four players. Players take on the roles of various heroes throughout the Marvel Universe, and they're working together to thwart um, a villain in their nefarious scheme uh, and trying to take down that villain before the villain achieves their goal. Uh, love the customization of the decks. The decks are, they come pre-built, 
but you can customize those and add your own flavor to them. You can pull out, you know, I'll be playing a Spider-Man with a leadership uh, aspect, and I can pull that out, and I can throw aggression in there or protection in there, and the deck plays completely different. Love that customization aspect. Super excited for all the expansions with Captain America and Miss Marvel and Thor, and then a Green Goblin villain pack. It's just going to be so much replayability in this game. Definitely highly recommend checking out Marvel Champions, the card game from Fantasy Flight. And until next time, keep gaming, friends. Hi guys, I am Randy. I'm Ellen. What are we game together? My game of the month. <laughs> After the third take. <laughs> <laughs> I said so many games. Is The Taverns of Tiefenfall. Oh. Did I say that right? Interesting. Um, was, a friend I thought, brought you would, it over. I thought it would be the same as mine. Anyway, I, go no, ahead. it's not the same. Um, a friend brought it over, we played it. The theme, eh, I don't, I don't really drink, and I had no idea what I was talking about. I'm like, what the heck is this schnapps? I don't know. <laughs> but the game was so fun i love the art super cozy it's good i, like I would it. highly suggest using all the modules i can't see playing it again with any missing i just feel like yeah. it would be lacking but uh, yeah it good good for sure the with the modules makes it a, a great <laughs> game yeah but my best of the month is even better than that ellen oh, it's rurik dawn oh, of okay Kiev. okay mm -hmm. that's a good one mm -hmm. Seriously, like really dang good. It's so like, good. Every time Why I think about it, every time I think about it, it's, I like it more and more. That auction, um, programming. auction programming mechanic at the beginning, or like you know, it's on genius. the beginning of each round, it's is genius. And is it hard to learn? No, it's no, easy it's, to learn. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, there's there's some definitely but strategy the to it. But choices are agonizing. Yeah, what you do and what order? Oh, good stuff. Pick both of these up. I would say. Do it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Howdy folks, I'm Hunter and this is Rebecca We're from the Family Showdown and her best of the month is Reavers of Midgard. This game is fantastic and I already want to play it right away. It's less random, like to me it's a better version of Champions of Midgard. You, yes, I said it. <laughs> and you're still fighting and, and beating up monsters and everything, but you've got these multi-use cards and you've got many paths to victory and I don't feel like the dicer is punishing. It's just a really, really good game. Go check out Reavers of Midgard. Well, I loved Reavers of Midgard. Champions is better. My <laughs> best of the month was City of the Big Shoulders. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy Euro game. It has some trappings trappings of an 18xx game but it takes my least favorite thing about 18xx all the little track intertrackness takes that and just throws it away and throws in a heavy economic game in its place so heavy euro meets 18xx city of the big shoulders my best of the month i'm jordan my best of the month is altiplano by reiner stockhausen and renegade games um, art by Clemens Franz, of course. It is awesome. It was on my shelf for over a year without playing it. Um, it was just a game that we never quite had time to really invest in learning it and playing it. And I set some time out, set some time aside, read the rule book, really like sat into it, really like got cozy with it. And it's great. And I love this game and I can't wait to play it again. And I hope I get to play it again and again and again. Um, I've never played Orleans. I might really like Orleans, but I've never played it. I played Altiplano, and I know this is good. So maybe Orleans is good too. Who knows? I've heard they're both good. But it's Altiplano. I'm Jordan. Thanks. And that's going to do it for us on this video, everybody. A big thanks to everybody who contributed. A big thanks to you for watching. And we're going to see you again on the next one. So you can find out some awesome games we're playing right now in December. All right, I'm Z Garcia. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.